Have you ever met my three-year-old? Like me. Have you ever met me? Like at three years old? Well, welcome to the party. When I was growing up, there were three things you never talked about at the dinner table. Sex, politics, and religion. We're throwing that rule out today. Are you ready? If you're somebody who is easily offended, swipe left, change the channel, click on something else, move on. God, are you there? It, it, it's me. God, is that you? It's me, Jude. Are you busy? I know you're running the universe and everything, but we're in a bit of a crisis down here, and, and I, I think we could use a little help. So I say the Lord's Prayer every day. I say the Serenity Prayer when I'm not in peace. You're real, aren't you, God? Like, even if you're not in a body? I mean, who created this one? I sure as shit didn't, but apparently Justin Trudeau wants to create new bodies with a very elect few group of people who seem to be very overly concerned with children and sex and sexuality. I don't know, it feels a little creepy to me. Hello and welcome to my world. I am a biological woman and I've decided that I want to be a girl. I'm an alien. An illegal alien, I'm an alien in my own body. Boy, girl, I don't know, but if you vote for Justin Trudeau, I'm three years old and I can choose what I want to be. Did you know that the WHO, which is the World Health Organization, now has the power over all countries and all governments during the next pandemic that well, whenever they plan that next, uh, to keep us in lockdown, to mandate vaccinations, to, well, who knows? Maybe they'll even start forcing sex changes on us. You just never know. I mean, if they start with three-year-olds, what's to say that they can't change your and my body? Like, really, how far does this rabbit hole go? Welcome to my Mad Hatter crazy life. Uh, you can call me Alice, but my real name is Judith. And uh, today, we're roasting Justin Trudeau. When someone hurts any of us, when someone targets any parent or child or grandparent, we must all stand together and say no. He'd almost be smart if he wasn't so dumb. You know what I mean? We've all seen that when Prime Minister Justin Trudeau confronts major issues of public policy, he tends to think that people who disagree with him must be motivated by evil intentions. Muslim parents in a number of major cities across the country are protesting what they feel is um, indoctrination on issues of gender identity going on in public schools. They feel that uh, issues like that are their responsibility to teach their children and the schools should just leave their kids alone. But what Trudeau's done is he's escalated it by implying that um, these parents are motivated by right-wing extremists and the far right. My daddy used to have a saying, he used to say, Bullshit baffles brains, Jude. Whether you agree or disagree with the position of these parents, the idea that the only reason that they're opposed to these gender identity classes is that they're being influenced by some sort of right-wing conspiracy is absurd. There are a lot of parents who aren't Muslim who also think that these issues should be handled by parents in the home. Are they all part of a right-wing conspiracy? Or is it only Muslims? I used to fight with my fists. Now I learned to fight with words. And now I just fight with action. Imagine winning a war just by walking. I'm inviting you to a march. I don't need hiking shoes. I just need a pair of flip-flops and my God-given feet. Yeah, I'll walk anywhere with you. Will you walk with me? Come on, I'm a lots of fun. I don't know, I, I suddenly saw my image and it just, that came to me, you know, this strong arm woman. God, I just want to reach down. <laughs> My little pet. I haven't worked these puppies out in a long time, but not bad, right? Could be better. Okay, what are we doing today, Jude? Well, it's the same day. Don't fool yourself. Well, I remember a time in my life when I honestly thought I was a boy until I checked. Imagine my surprise when I discovered I didn't have this thing that my two brothers, who were just a year and a half and two years older than me, had. I was like, oh my god, I'm not one of those. I'm I'm not a boy, I'm a girl. <sighs> I'm so confused. 
I like to climb trees. I like to jump in puddles. I like to play with dinky cars in the sandbox. I do all the things that boys do. I would much prefer a Tonka toy dump truck than a little doll that you can put 121 outfits on. Although I do like my teddy bear. I like to go on the hunting trips with my dad and I like to go on the trap lines with my dad and I like to collect maple syrup with my mom and my dad and I do have a mom and a dad. I have a male and a female, a mom and a dad. I don't know how that happened. I don't know who made them. But I do know that Justin Trudeau is going to make a whole new species of human beings. I didn't like easy bake ovens and I really didn't give a shit about Barbie. In fact, as a mother, I kind of defaced a few Barbies in my time. I believe it was China where they killed girls because they only wanted boys, because there was a maximum cap of children that you could have based on, I don't know what, like it couldn't be economics. We're talking about communism here. So what is it based on? I don't know. Somebody doesn't like girls? I'm about to make salad using peppers and carrots and cucumbers and onions and maybe some hot peppers and whatever else. Oh, and some celery and whatever else I can find in the fridge. But before I do. Saturday, August. I was gonna say 25th, but it's only the 5th. Thank God. Whew. The gray man. What? That sounds like a country song. <laughs> I won't be a green man, you give me some pink. Rainbow wishes and unicorn kisses. Give me some purple, give me some blue. Have you seen my lucky charms? I want some yellow, how about some green? <gasps> I think I found my pot of gold. I'll take a little side odor of, I'll take everything. All the colors, one of each. I wonder if there's a bowl of Lucky Charms somewhere around. I won't be a gray man. Okay, seriously, let's listen to Patera. Chattanooga National Cemetery Veterans Association. Do you want to see? Said need to eventually decide what they will be called, despite what the parents want. Yes, this is happening in Canada. What the? Well, to Canada now, where the Trudeau government is pushing the LGBTQ plus LTY agenda in the nation's school system. Uh, if you're enrolling your children right now in preschool or kindergarten, you'll be told, hey, uh, they won't be uh, addressed as he or she. That's My it. peppers are all confused. They don't understand this concept at all because you see, when a pepper has three little heads, it's a male. When it has four little heads, it's a female. And this one looks a little confused. It might be two, it might be three, it might be four. I think this is one of those zen zero 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 Now because this one's different, all of these can't be what they are. Starting from the age of three, parents don't get the decision anymore. The teachers do. They get to help children decide, thanks to the Trudeau government, whether or not your three-year-old can be a boy or a girl. That's something the school systems are doing. Parents are being notified of this. They won't be giving them biological pronouns. Uh, the kids will instead need to eventually decide what they will be called, despite what the parents want. Yes, this is happening in Canada. Yeah, I, it was a true story. I honestly, I think I was about maybe three or four years old when I discovered that I was a girl. And it was a, just a few moments where I really had a difficult time because I wasn't being brainwashed by the politicians and my teachers and my parents and everybody in my community that I got to choose my sex. It was just like, mm, okay, so this is what I am. But I can still do all those things, right? <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> and I get to give birth? <laughs> Bonus! There's a lot of advantages in being a woman. I can see why so many pretend to be women want to be pretend to be women. Just think Dylan Mulvaney. It'll make sense now. Dylan Mulvaney with Tampax, Bud Light. And what else did he do? Or she or, or it, I don't know. Has it decided what it is? Now if someone will please tell me what this salad is called. I'd appreciate it. Well, I kind of got a bit of everything. I have cucumber, red, green pepper, red and white, onion. I guess that's it so far. Maybe some garlic, some celery. It'd be nice to have tomato, but my tomatoes aren't ripe. Mm, I could throw some apple and some nuts, maybe some pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds in there. Mm, now we're getting creative. How many apples, Jude? Maybe three. I wonder what else I could throw in this. Well. I guess it's everything but the kitchen sink. Imagine my mother 
being able to decide whether she wanted to be a boy or a girl. I might have never been born. You'd never see my recipes. You'd never hear me sing. You'd never see the drone shots. You'd never be introduced to my crazy, wonderful Mad Hatter life. Can you imagine that? A world without me. A world without you. What kind of world is that? Well, I think I understand the apple. This is pretty bitter celery. Obviously, it wasn't grown in the best soil. You know, I grew my own celery, so I know what to expect now. And that's a, a pretty bitter celery. I say why a little bit of sweet from the apple. Oh yeah, throw it on the floor, Jude. You don't have friggin' little pigs running around or a dog to eat it, so put down the knife in the apple, go pick it up and put it in the compost. But don't tell me that I have to be a girl because I'm choosing to be a boy even though I'm only three years old. Because <laughs> Justin Trudeau says I have certain rights over my body. Imagine that and they can't even drive or vote or pay taxes or but they can decide their sexuality. So are you going to tell these peppers or am I? Somehow we need to return back to true values and integrity and honesty and morality and I don't think a Trudeau government's promising that do you because if he is um where's the money from the Lavalin scandal and the we scandal I I'd really like to know <laughs> because what is it when somebody steals money from you I think that's thievery that's a crime according to you you should be in jail you know the truth of it is I can play the part of crazy a little bit of crazy is kind of fun but then there's that you know different kind of crazy I've been that kind of crazy too it's called being depressed or having a lot of mental emotional overwhelming issues that you just can't seem to handle life but that's not what I'm talking about either. There are some people on this planet like Justin Trudeau who I really honestly think are crazy. I don't think he's going to get a prescription for that though because he's in bed with Big Pharma. Apparently he's in bed with the CPP too. I think that's called sleeping with the enemy. <laughs> Julia Roberts, can you tell us a little bit about that please? Wow! I'm sorry. I know you're scared but you have to understand that you get to choose something that you don't even know exists. That's why you get confused about whether you're three points or four points to begin with, and yet you get to decide. I'm not exactly sure how that works, so I'm gonna spare you, and I'm just gonna chop you up and put this in the salad and put you out of your misery now. Like Jesus says, let your yes be yes or your no be no, so are you going to say yes? Or are you going to say no? Because if it's a no, if it's a big fat no, then you need to get into the All Faith to Ottawa March. Now I have to go tell my pawpaw trees. They have to decide, male or female. I can't choose anymore, and neither can God. Do you want some lunch, honey? I suspect she does. Uh, Gypsy, I think, is just really frickin' smart, or she can identify color, or I don't know. I did a little experiment with her a couple days ago. Okay, will we do this again? I'm going to mix up the colors this time. Do you want the pink one or the blue one? Which one? The pink one. Okay, okay. Okay, you like pink. Oh, oh no. This is fish. Well, she's had fish twice today. That makes sense. And this is the turkey dinner. So, yeah, I let her pick and <laughs> she seems to know what she wants every time. Okay, she wants service like now. Okay, I think I'm going to add maybe two carrots. These were grown in Canada somewhere, but I don't know where. Okay, we added some carrots. Doesn't that look lovely? Out of curiosity, what salad are you eating today? Are you even eating today? And I'm not talking like you're choosing to fast. Are you not eating because you can't afford to anymore? If you're skipping meals, you need to learn how to grow food. I have to throw my compost out in the bin. I compost my own food scraps out of my balcony garden. Yeah, let me show you how. Do you live in an apartment? I do. You think you can't grow food? Uh, you can. So maybe you don't have a balcony, but you can still grow food indoors. 
and that's what you need to learn. For that there be food scraps and organic and dirt. What? Hi, Pippi. I make my own dirt. Anything that's raw and organic, it goes in here. Wood chips, straw, cardboard, food scraps, coffee grinds, tea grinds, and then it gets covered with a little layer of dirt because we don't want to attract those harbingers of disease called Justin Trudeau. No, just kidding. Flies. I don't know, am I really kidding? And now I just add a little bit of dirt. There's worms in here and there's insects and bugs and bacteria in here that are going to help to break down this food. And as this food begins to decompose, this will start to drop down. Probably by spring, I'll be lucky if I get this much dirt, even though I fill it to the top. Honey, do you want me to open the door? You're welcome. I have flour on my face. I look like I've been baking bread. That's because I have. I'm getting ready to put my sourdough bread in its banditin basket to put in the fridge to go to bed for the night so that I can bake it tomorrow morning. And I also have to get my sourdough starter ready so that I can start all over again making fresh bread starting tomorrow morning because then that bread will go in the fridge tomorrow night, which I'll bake on Sunday. Yes, I bake bread Saturday and Sunday. I'm breaking probably both the Christian and the Judaic law of the Sabbath. Good Lord, no wonder the world's in a state of mess that it's in. It's all my fault. <sighs> I forgot to honor the Sabbath. I guess I better go talk to God again. Today, two minute time out corner. Only, right? Like if only. If only you could like literally hear a voice like of God talking to you. Like wouldn't that just solve everything? But alas, that's not how it works with God. Hey, we get to play the wonderful game of, do we have space in the fridge? Of course we do. Today, I think we do. Oh dear, oh dear. I have carrots to put away. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? God, are you there? I don't have space in my fridge for my carrots. Peppers are having a party with the eggs right now. I don't want to disturb them. Oh, Lordy. What am I going to do? If I can choose my sex, can I choose a pandemic? Because it sounds a lot like a party. And if it's a party, why wasn't I invited? Because I'm privileged. I get to choose my sex now, so if I get to choose my sex, I get to choose to be invited to all the parties. So, because I'm special, don't you know? Oh yeah, I'm very special. You can call me God. Well, I don't know, he was a fictitious person a long time ago, but nobody really believed him. Well, some people did. Well, they thought they did. And then they weren't sure anymore, and so they stopped believing. They were a party word, too. I think it was called an atheist. Yeah, atheist. It sounds like a garden tool, or maybe something I'd play with in the sandbox, an atheist. And I'd probably use it to build roads for my dinky cars. Do you know what I find fascinating? I find it fascinating that people that claim that they are atheists still have a sense of right and wrong. How is that possible? Do you want to see what I just did? Okay, I broke up the party. Oh, I'm a party breaker upper and I'm squishing them. Okay, maybe not as good of an idea as I thought. I thought they were fitting. I don't know. I thought they were originally. I could be wrong. I probably am, but you know, um, sometimes you just have to force things to happen and that's what I'm doing. I'm making shit happen in my, can you even see what I'm doing? Oh. No wonder you don't believe me. You can't see it. Voila. 
Ooh, the carrots. Mm. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. They gotta see it. They gotta see it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. See, I'm a miracle worker. I put the carrots and the salad and the two loaves of sourdough in the fridge. And yep, everything's in there. And, and if you open the door, nothing's gonna fall out. And it's not gonna be a surprise because, hello, it's all organized. See, isn't that wonderful? I make shit happen. Somebody's got to. The Muslims and the Christians are choosing it from West Coast to East Coast. Well, in this case, from West Coast to East Coast. Muslims and Christians alike and people of non-denomination and no faith. By the way, no skin color requirement necessary. Just come as you are. Now we have seen things happening online. Here's a big event that was happening from the Muslim community in, I believe this was in Mississauga. Uh, this was one of the ones that was taking place at the time. Vote for, we want to vote for Canada. We don't care for the color of the party. We want Canada hands off the kids, let parents have their consent. Let's carry the Canadian flag. Let's sing the uh, national anthem. We know Terry Fox is a monumental uh, figure for us. Let's celebrate Terry Fox. Let's celebrate Gabriel Roy and Emily Stowe, who got the women's votes in the 1950s after a women's uh, suffrage movement. Mm -hmm. Let's celebrate the things that bring us together. Let's celebrate our maple syrup and, and, and our moose and, and our natural habitats. We got beautiful forests and Canada is a beautiful country. There's a lot of things we can celebrate instead of looking at the things that might uh, instill some kind of a division as the, the politicians and corporations like to play, right? Speak. How about we do a one million people march from coast to coast? How does that sound? Right, right? that sounds so fantastic. People from Montreal, BC, Newfoundland, we got people in Niagara Falls and stuff like that. So the idea of the one million people march, it's a concept that is highly fluid and we're meeting together and we're bridging all the organizations like yourself as a concerned father. I'm a concerned father. You had a group of 2000 people. Well, let's do it coast to coast and let's do a 1 million people march and maybe make it a, a 1 million people march week, week uh, third week of September or something like that. So it's, in the, it's out in the air. You own it yourself. <laughs> uh, every Canadian who is a concerned father, who wants hands off the kids, who wants parental dis, uh, consent, who loves Canada, who wants to unite with all Canadians, Canadians, irregardless of what they believe. That's right. And it's Christians and Muslims coming together for, for not just September, for a long lasting prosperous Canada. And that's what we're looking for. That's it. And this is one step in the right direction towards bringing people together. It's a reunification of people and their communities. What we haven't seen in a long time here in Canada. I really look forward to seeing this. How can people get more information about this and, and how can they uh, get in touch with people to, to further organize? Yeah, that's a very good question. So people are following me online. I am on Twitter. If you want to provide that at the end of the podcast, maybe write them down. Uh, my Twitter feed, yep. I'm on TikTok. I'm also on Facebook. Now, guess what? On Facebook, I got censored for going to the convoy. They don't want a Muslim delegation in the convoy. A bunch <laughs> of people wearing hijab, supporting fellow Canadians and singing Oh Canada together. It doesn't fit the CBC or CTV narrative. Yeah, I didn't so, go. Um, uh, you know, my public page there, Camel Forum, uh, got censored a bit, but I still have a following uh, there. But Twitter uh, has been exploding. Uh, uh, you saw me on Twitter uh, engage. Well, that's how I found you. Yes, and well, it's it's exactly. called it's called X now. Apparently, this is a new thing. So, it, what is that? Uh, it's, it's, a so rebranding. Called X? Yeah, yeah, they rebranded it. Oh, okay. 